Sorry, I'm 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 Goblins, 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 Tell us about it, em embody it, <laughs> enjoy it. My new book is called Harry Potter and the Goblet of Shame. Some people have been having some difficulty with the title. <laughs> so you're here to verify the fact that it is definitely, unequivocally, without a single, minusculely thin slither of doubt. <laughs> Harry Potter and the Goblet of shame. <laughs> Can I say it's nothing to do with the popular Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling? I would say... What about distinguished guests from the other night? She was here, she was there, in a lovely dress, which covered her uh, everything. Anyway, so... <laughs> I would say, I would say, in many ways, it is a, a continuation of her stories. Did you need her permission to do it? Do you know what? I simply didn't answer the phone. <laughs> so I don't know uh, what those were avoided. But what I learned was, after such an exciting period of time, that young Harry, the boy who lived under some stairs and then in a castle, um, after all those times of his teenage years, what were his twenties going to be like, really? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and so what I did was I... Does he go to a nightclub? That's what I want. That's the very first thing he does, yes. Oh. Um, in a world uh, where Voldemort has been vanquished, mm -hmm. uh, the first thing he does is go out and get <laughs> catastrophically mortal <laughs> Alpha Pops. Wow! How exciting! And, and do you know what it really was? I I felt that the scene where he continues to eat his own kebab after being sick in his So I this experience of at least the first three or four Harry Potter novels. <laughs> I mean, he really did carry on forcing fistful after fistful <laughs> vomit soaked kebab. <laughs> and uh, obviously this is uh, the first time, as I like to say, that he officially drank from the goblet of shame. <laughs> now, the which I cannot be clear enough on is the title of the book. Yeah. Now the goblet itself, do we have to buy the book or are you going to share what that is? I, are you going to tease our audience with that? I would say that the <laughs> <laughs> The audience. <laughs> the audience looks like they want to be teased. Don't they? So, tease them. I don't want to be too much of any tease, honestly, but I will tease the audience. Uh, so, yeah, whilst the goblet of shame is largely metaphorical, it does <laughs>
They can press the secret button under her desk. And Harry was taken away by security. <laughs> the street. Harry walked back, stood at the bus stop, checked his pockets, realized he could not afford a ticket, and began the long walk home. Aww. On the way back, Aww. he stopped in at the newsagents and bought a single scratch card. Ooh. He lost. <laughs> but I'm so in life that the pride play, enjoyable. And, I'm, uh, yeah, like and you're dealing with issues, that's what I like about that. And what I'm doing is very much piggybacking on the back of someone else's success and pretending I care about it. <laughs> and why not? I believe that's what happened in the first place when they were I think, I, 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 I think I'm taking it very much from the source. Well, it's down there, and Peter Swift, Harry Potter, and the Goblet. <laughs>